is maybe going to need a nice strong gallop. He's he's won over a mile six, so we know he stays well. What's going to go forward? I mean, Candleford's versatile, has won from the front and is a held up horse as well. Goliath has made the running. That's over in France. They tend to crawl around in France. Um, I'd just be worried he might be a victim to circumstances a little bit in this race. Midler's got a great finishing kick that he showed at Newbury. Hopefully, Arshin can take dead aim. Last one to go in will be Crypto Force for Ross Orion. And the second colours of Ammo Racing, the all purple silks. That's it. Field of nine. And they're off. In the group two, Hardwick stakes over a mile and a half. And through the very early stages, Candleford is going to stay wide. Towards the inside, Elegant Man goes forward with Isle of Jura. And then Keen against the inside rail is Goliath. At the moment, Tom Marconde has the royal runner, Desert Hero, at the back of the field. He's a little bit lit up, but no more so than Miss the Cut, who is on his outside, and also Middle Earth, who's wide as they make the run down towards the turn at Swindley Bottom. So the leader now is Elegant Man with David Egan. They've gone on by a length and a half to Candleford and William Buick, racing in second. The French Hope Goliath is racing in third. Isle of Jura up on the outside of Crypto Force in a dispute of fourth and fifth. Continuous to the outside of Desert Hero as they go into the turn. The last duo, Mr. The Cut, who races on the inside of Middle Earth. And now, very shortly, they'll be facing up to the hill, which will bring them back towards home. They're going inside the final mile of the Hardwick, and the leader is the all-weather specialist, Elegant Man. He leads by just over a length to Candleford, who is in second. Second. Goliath is still keen up against the inside rail in third for Maxine Guion. Then out wide in fourth as they complete the turn is Isle of Jura. A further length to the inside, Crypto Force is racing in fifth position. Then continuous with head bowed, he's racing in sixth. Up on the outside of Desert Hero and then missed the cut and Middle Earth. They've now gone through halfway. They're about to go inside the final five furlongs of the Hardwick and still Elegant Man leads the parade. His lead reduced to only half a length now as Candleford begins to try and apply pressure to his outside. Their duel has carried them a length and a half clear of Goliath who races in third. Isle of Jura travelling well in fourth for Callum Shepherd as they begin to make the turn. Isle of Jura is being stalked by Continuous who now begins to make his move around the outside of Crypto Force and then Desert Hero who's on the inside of Middle Earth and at the moment the American challenger missed the cut is at the back of the field. Inside the final two and a half furlongs. Candleford has the lead. The lead is a length and a half. Isle of Jura now attacks to the outside. Goliath in third. Continuous is only one pace. So to Middle Earth down the outside. Isle of Jura and Callum Shepherd sees the lead outside the furlong pole. And now with another 150 yards to go, it is Isle of Jura who's going clear, racing up towards the line. The star of Bahrain, Isle of Jura, is a star. It was very one paced, and then they were clear of Crypto Force. Elegant man who capitulated, then Desert Hero who never landed a blow and tailed off was missed the cut. A huge, huge day in the careers of both trainer George Scott and rider Callum Shepherd as they get a Royal Ascot winner and a huge win for the star of Bahrain, the victorious racing owned Isle of Jura. Big one for Bahrain. Look at the celebration from Callum Shepherd, Haley. The celebration of the week. Yeah, this is my favourite winner of the week. I'm just delighted for him. You know, he's had a tough year, Shep, and he's been riding so well. And um, this will just be, this will just mean the world to him. And George Scott as well. You know, they've really, you know, pushed pushed this horse to its limits, and it's just kept fulfilling their um, fulfilling their dreams, really. That beats the Haley Turner finger to her lips in COVID when there was no one here. Well done, Callum. Just explain what he's been through. Well, it, it, you know, obviously he um, got taken off the Derby favourite, which was really frustrating. Um, you know, he hadn't done anything wrong and um, it was, seemed a little bit unreasonable to me. Um, but he, he's handled himself so well. You were just 